Hi everyone and welcome. So today we have some high intensity work using a pair of dumbbells. The dumbbells I'm using for your reference are 8kg and 8kg. Typically I do go a that little bit even lighter than this so I would usually go about 6kg for my high intensity work. However today there is some more compound movements so I'm just going to slow it down that little bit. So please I would stress go at a pace that suits the weight that you've got. If you have lighter weights than you prefer of course then you can certainly go that little bit faster but in order to get the most out of the moves still control the movement. I know I say that a lot but it really does make the difference. So for example we're going to be doing partials into laterals so our partial raise into lateral raise. So instead of just flinging the dumbbell up and flinging the dumbbell up you're actually going to control control. Slow down the lowering portion, it makes it that little bit harder. Same with the bent over rows and shoulder press. When it comes to the lunges, make sure you're making good depth and keep looking forward at all times. The timer is going to be on for 30 seconds of work, 15 second rest. Each exercise will be performed two times. A lot of it is one side and then we obviously do the opposite side. You'll also need a mat just to set the dumbbells down for our staple. This will appear after you've done four types of exercises. So as you can see here I'm hopping back. You can of course step back if you prefer not to hop back. You come into the push-up as low as you can, hop in, hop back out to that plank position, come in, look up, drive up and then perform one full squat and back down. That is actually our finisher as well. That will be for one minute at the very end. Try to perform, of course, as many quality reps as you can, but definitely stop as and when you need to. There is one exercise that I would expect most people to have to stop and it is gonna be the hammer curls. I would say that because you're gonna to aim to keep the elbows in, really isolate the biceps, little momentum. So yeah, 30 seconds, two times can be quite a lot on that, considering there's very little rest. And it's post bent over rows. So you guys, we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna get our heart rate up and focus on technique at the same time. Let's go.